Hi guys, today I would like to demonstrate how to download and set up some of the manuals and drivers for HP RT XT300 model thermal printer. First of all, search HP RT HD300 at Google. It is the same as XT300 as they are using the same drivers and manuals. Go ahead and press download. Click on label editor and press download. Press on drivers and choose Seagull Windows driver and press download. Press on utility and press download. First, I will set up driver. So click it when uh, it is available. So one thing to take note is before you run all these three files, uh, you do not do not open the thermal printer. Now I will run the printer driver. Accept, next, next, finish. And press yes. So what would, uh, okay, print install, next. And then here you open your printer and connect to your laptop. So it will automatically detect it and press next. See the model, yeah, check everything and then press next. Next and finish. Okay. Now we will look into uh, utility. So press utility. Okay, HPRT utility. And press this HPRT utility for label channel. Here, uh, press modify printer. Okay, change to HD 300 USB and press OK. Here you press connect test and it will show connect succeed. Then press OK. Click on parameter setting. Make sure that your print type is thermal. And here is the place where you can set up your IP address. Okay, after that, press set. Then we press label auto learn. So you will see your printer run, run it, and you will see it will automatically fit it nicely. Then you press quit. Next, we open control panel. Under hardware and sound, view devices and printers. Here you will see HPRT XD300, which is our model. Right click on it and press and click on printing preferences. Here we press new. So ours is 35 times 25 mm. So we can just change it here. Uh, we just press 35 mm. Then it will automatically change to inch. So we just change to 25 mm and press OK. Next, we press stock, change the media type to web sensing and press apply and OK. After that, let's look back to label design. Press on label design, double click, yes, and wait for it. Okay, so here basically just next, next, then you have to wait for it to download. Okay, and press finish. Now we search for the app. Okay, so if uh, it pops up at your desktop, then you can just use it 
if don't then you just uh, go for your file and, and search for seagull uh, search for bartender ultralight okay and then this is the app so you can just drag it up and we run it here it will ask you whether you want to start or open a document so i will just proceed by starting a new document and press next next you can just modify by your own whether you want single or multiple columns or rows per page press next all right so this one is uh, just now you can see we have uh, adjust 35 mm times 25 mm so automatically it will adjust it will fit in here okay so just go through everything and modify by your own and press finish so this one is uh, our template and we will design at here so for example if i want to use barcode so you can see we have a lot of barcodes here we have a lot of codes so you can just choose whichever you want okay and just drag in All right you can adjust the size and you if you want to put lines you can also put a line if you want to put text single line or multi line you can just do it okay so if you want to adjust the font size then you just change here okay if you notice it will just change the font size but not the barcode size so if you want to uh, adjust then you just adjust by your own for the barcode so if you want to change the number then you just right click and press edit then you can change your number here then if you want to take away the numbers then you just right click again and press properties human readable and press none then close it then you can see the numbers have gone so if you want to print then you just go ahead press file print and you look again everything and press print okay lastly remember to save it as a template so for example this barcode is for bottle a then remember to save it as bottle a so next time when you want to open then you can just open it directly that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to put a like and subscribe us to get the latest updates